How's it going, people? And welcome to a uh, review on the new Vice support. That's the last time I let you intro. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? We're just going to be looking at Vices. Um, again, we're catching up on a little bit of news. So we'll get into it. I'm joking. You can intro again at some point. <laughs> so we have got... Uh, Manadome Trid? There's that, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a fairy, it's a tuner, it's an effect. So you can only special summon with the first effects of this card's name once per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Uh, if you control a Vice's Starfrost monster or a monster with 1,500 attack, 2,100 defense, which I feel like is hyper-specific, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one of mana dome tuners from your deck uh i feel like there's just better stuff to abuse and so this is a tuner the idea being that vices has 1500 attack and two on defense mm -hmm. so the idea you just summon it out with that um they're both tuners so there's no synchro plays going on there yeah uh, if this card is destroyed by battle card effect vices has to destroy a card in order to summon itself yeah uh so then you just best summon another mana dome tuner uh, from your deck. So. I just literally think there's better engines to abuse that specific well, We don't know what it's telling yet. Exactly, yeah. Uh, just right now, off a glance. Eh. Maybe I'm wrong. Right. I, I've been it before and often. Uh, Verda Carantha. Um, Dark Warrior. Nah, those two words don't really speak. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ple pleasant <laughs> together. Uh, so, level 8. 2500. Uh, you can only use first and second effects of this card's name once per turn. If a card on the field is destroyed by, battle, uh, destroyed by card effects, sorry, uh, and Vice's Star Frost is on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then you can add one clear new world from your deck or grave to your hand. Um, clear new world. Uh, I will real quick. Right, so, target one face-up monster, you control, destroy it, and if you do, you some more monster in your deck in defense position with a different original type and attribute, whose level is lower than the monster's original level, but negate its effects. So, um, they'd still get triggered because it, their effects get popped Resolving. off of uh, destruction. Yeah. Um, so, the, I, the idea of searchable, um, you know... Uh, E-Telly of sorts. I uh, also had no idea this came out in... What was Batch? Uh, Battle of Chaos. Yeah, I had no idea that. Was a um, so, if another monster in your possession is destroyed by a card effect, you can target one monster your opponent controls to destroy it. Pretty... Yeah, well, why not board break while you're doing your combo? Yeah. Uh, this card gains attack equal to that monster's original attack. Uh, they all do have um doesn't sort. Vices does have attack modulation as well but it requires uh it mm. to destroy a card before it does mm. uh Vices amaritara um it's a warrior synchro level eight so it requires a light monster so it's not quite generic yeah uh you can only use the second and third effects uh once per turn this card's name becomes Vice of Star Frost while in the monster zone. So now we have something that's usable in this strategy and actually uh, classifies as Vices. So a lot of the cards will gain benefit off of that. Uh, if this card is synchro summon, you can add one spell attract that mentions Vices from your deck to your hand. So Peralino, you can play that in yeah. Terralement. Um, so free synchro. Uh, I mean, yeah, if they can they can make it all they need is a light monster like they yeah. can literally use a uh shizu beast if they wanted to aren't they earth uh don't think so uh wait Medora is i think kelbeck isn't or i think let's actually i think they are uh them. i think they are earth yeah, my bad yeah they're yeah. earth my bad uh anyway the point being, they can literally... Yeah, they're all Earth. They're yeah. verified. <laughs> okay, okay, I was double-checking. Yeah, thanks. Prove me more wrong. Uh, drawing uh, the main phase, you can destroy one monster you control, also for the rest of this turn. All Synchro monsters you control gain 800 attack. 
Uh, so again, just proccing the effects. Mm. Okay, and we come to a spell card where it looks like he's not been skipping leg day, but just focusing on one arm. That arm is now transcended. The power arm. The, the, the power arm. Like, literally, if he's doing an arm wrestle, then... It's the, it's the arm, the mystic right. arm that he pulls I like, out. I like to think the other one's just, like, a little strand. Yeah. All right, so... Uh, you can activate this once per turn, basically. Um, activate one of these effects. Special on one monster with 1,500 or 21... Uh, and 21, sorry, from your graveyard. So, basically, reborn vices. Shuffle five of your monsters that are banished face upon your field or in your graveyard into the deck. Uh, one vice of staff from four monsters. Uh, so does it have to be? Wow, that's... That's pretty specific. That's asking a lot. That is asking a lot. And if you do special summon a vice of synchro monster from your extra deck, uh, that is a high cost, even worse avarice. That's... That, oof. that is... Uh... <laughs> Do 10 backflips and 16 side squats and jump through paying, three hoops. Yeah, that, that is paying cost for this card. Wow. Um, this looks great before we even get into it. It looks like, have you seen those graffiti artists? Yeah. That kind of like. Can just, do entire scenes. Yeah, just spray paint yeah. like a solar system or a planet. So once per turn, if a monster you control is destroyed by battle card effects, sent to the graveyard, activate one of these. So it requires. Uh, battle or card effect. Um, so they all do that. So you're pr pretty much getting them. Special summon one of them in defense position. One tuner on the field gains attack equal to half of one of them. Shuffle one card into the deck if you do draw one. Shuffle this card into the deck. Add one field spell from your graveyard to your hand. Um, so it could do some cool things. Again, it's a very slow set of effects. I'm not. I'm not rating these. Um, but the traps are going to save it. All right. Well, I doubt it. Um, you can only use the first second of this card's name once per turn. Target one spell trap that mentions Vice of Sarfrost in your graveyard set it. And if it's a trap or quick play spell, you can activate it this turn. Uh, that would be good, but... Um... <laughs> Well, well, sh where, show, show me what it's actually using. <laughs> where, where is quick play? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can manage this card from your graveyard, target three spells that mention Vice's Star Frost in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck. We're, get, we're getting recursion for cards. We're not even going to be able to dump there quick enough before we get killed. Like, mm. this night. The last one. This is it. The last melon. A continuous trap. All right. So the first time each of your monsters would be destroyed by battle each turn while you control Vice of Star Frost it is not. I almost laugh then. Because if it's said by card effect as well, oh. that like <laughs> you just shoot yourself in the foot, why don't you? Yeah. During your end phase, if you control Vices, you can target one monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck. Uh, or if you control a Tuno Synchro monster, you can add it to your hand instead. Like, where's the negation? Where's the board removal? Where's any? Where's the draw power? Relevant? Like, where's the setup? Do you know what? Maybe we're not seeing it. You, you've basically or... just given them more lore cards explaining like plot holes in the story. That feels like it. The art on that's great. Really good artwork. Like, yeah, that's the problem with so it. many decks. <laughs> like the artwork is fantastic. It's like, um, I don't think I'll be hearing it next like six months. It's like what you're playing. I'm playing Vices. It's not instead gonna... of just specifically Vice's Star Frost in a better shell. Yeah, because um, your Vice's Dino list was quite spicy, wasn't it? Yeah, but Vice's pops baby, so yeah, like, uh... turns baby into viable normal. It's like you should have so... just made Vice's Star Frost a dinosaur at this point. If, if you haven't seen that, it's on the channel. Um, but yeah, all of the artworks kind of like I'm getting very like Siegfried from well, that, Soul Calibur. That thing, is actually really good. Mm. Uh, I, I quite like that card. It can search Perilino. Yeah. It can search like um, Perilino. <laughs> oh, the rest um, is... what about that card? Uh, Perilino. Perilino. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's been the Vice's support. Um, not overwhelming, but it's there, and we've spoke about it indirect or element support. Do you know what? Isn't it great that we're here so when you search Vice's support, you don't end up on a Visa website. 
with them trying to say what's up with your credit card because that happened to you didn't it literally i couldn't find this article anywhere because you know even with v vice ass it's visas and so yeah it's like hey have you got problems with your credit cards <laughs> tell us about it let well, me get you in trouble <laughs> you don't need to do that because you've seen it here right that's been us uh like comment subscribe tell your friends hit the bell icon join the discord do all that good stuff it really helps um especially the the commenting and joining the uh, discord we're uh, we're really enjoying engaging with everyone so namaste fuckers we'll see you next time in a bit